Hi guys and welcome to Wubsy Bounce You're probably thinking why are we out here in the cold Well that is because it is an Audi day today So today we are going to be reviewing the 2012 Audi A5 Cabriolet And this car is obviously convertible I'm going to show you around the car Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it But before we do any of that It is intro time <music> Here we have a 2012 Audi A5, it's a 2-litre TDI, it's the 177 brake. Uh, but with this one, it's been remapped to about 200, just under 200 horsepower. So guys, let's talk about the exterior of the car. So let's head it over to the front. This colour, guys, is absolutely beautiful. Um, never, I haven't seen many around in this colour, in this shape. It's the Daytona Grey in a pearl effect. This is the S-Line edition. It has the uh, S-Line front bumper and also the S-Line grille. And also it has the upgraded LED. They normally come with the Xenons. He's changed the headlights. It's very sleek and very low. It's got, it's very, it's quite low to the ground. The uh, side skirts here as well, the S10 side skirts. And also it has the 18 inch S9 wheels, a stand, uh, standard. They're slightly bigger than normal, but uh, the, they're not the S4. Upgrading to the rotors, the 19 inch or the 20 inch S9 wheels. So it'll sit more better to the ground. and will be a lot wider. So it look more basically appealing. So guys, this is the rear of the car. As you can see, it's got a big booty. So the boot has to be big because it needs to accommodate the roof. And also you need some luggage, luggage space as well. We've got the tinted uh, rear lights. The car has been tinted all the way around. And also it has the s -Land rear diffuser. Um, I don't know if it does anything, but it's there. You've got the silver chrome tips, which Hamza has uh, shined them up. Yo, what are you doing? Bob's, review the car, please. Got... No, no, Bob's, review, review the car, please. Because, go on, <laughs> do one. <laughs> do this guy, <laughs> Right guys, so it's my job to talk about the inside of this car, as always. So this car inside is typical Audi. Quite luxurious, I would say, for the A5 model. Obviously, you get more in this car than you would do in the lower end models. But let's go over a couple of things. So the talking about the gear knob, um, very good. It's, it just feels really good, like really sturdy and stuff like that as well. Um, if you want to be talking about other things like you've got the steering wheel as well. Steering wheel is leather, very sporty. It's got a good thick steering wheel so it gives you that, that, that kind of sporty effect as well it's got the audi mmi system so it comes fully loaded it is actually the tech pack as well so it's got the dvd player in there as well it's got satellite navigation everything you want basically in a car like this so fully leathered out it's got lovely leather uh, this armrest over here as well and uh, you can put it back you can put it forward as well it's very simple audi they've just gone all the way back to the basics they haven't complicated with lots of different buttons and everything they kept it very nice, very clean, very simple on this car. These seats, guys, are absolutely lovely. It actually comes with heated seats as well. And it's got a uh, leather bucket seats. And the leather in this car is absolutely beautiful. Audi do lovely leather in their cars, I must say. The back two seats are mostly for kids, I would say, or smaller individuals like me. The real magic happens over here in the front two seats. Very, very luxurious. The dials as well. So it comes with your standard uh, speedometer and it comes with your rev count as well. However, in the middle, it's also got the um, the electronic speed on there as well, which can be quite handy if you're driving down and, you know, uh, they give you just the obvious reading of what speed you're driving at, which is very good. And it's got also an electric handbrake. So I don't think they could have actually fit a handbrake down here somewhere. I would say the main reason why you probably can't fit a handbrake here is because you've got a control over here, which controls uh, to get the roof down and for all the windows to go down as well. So because obviously it's a convertible, the seats, you put them forward, you can press the button on there, and the button makes the seats go forward further. And one thing I really love about this car is uh, the seat belt. So as you sit in the car and you're about when you turn the ignition on, the seat belt it presents itself to you. Very posh, very suave way of doing things. And uh, so then obviously that encourages you to put your seat belt on as well. So I wanted to talk a bit about the boot. Uh, being the convertible, you expect to you know have less luggage capacity. But as you can see, still you can get loads of. Things inside, you know, um, 
shop a lot of shopping if you do lots, lots of shopping you can still have loads of shopping inside and also the back seats fold fold as well so if you need more space being a convertible i didn't we didn't expect it to fold the seats down so the seats do fall down and get more luggage space in a lot of you guys are going to be complaining that we haven't put the roof down but here's a shot of the roof going down <laughs> Absolutely freezing, so that covers the exterior and the interior of the car. Let's take it for a drive. So, guys, we've got to the location. Um, obviously, once again in Bill and Moors, and uh, we've decided to put the roof down. So it's absolutely freezing. So let's put the roof down. So I hope you guys appreciate this. Wow, this one. Because if we don't put the roof down, then you guys are gonna be like, ah, I never put the roof down. Got a convertible. Well, you know what? We'll do it just for you guys. Oh. Plus, you get fantastic lighting. You oh don't my need, God. you know expensive bulbs all you need is outdoor lighting so uh, it's gonna be a bit cold might be a little bit breezy keep the windows up and we're gonna take the car for a bit of a drive around here i'm covering my mic just so you can't pick up the uh no, the it should, wind I, noise. I think it should be okay and uh, i tell you one thing guys if you guys are going to be go if, me is you if, if you guys are going to be going to a party or going to some kind of a do and be sitting at the back and you're going to get your hair done <laughs> just, uh, yeah, just just be ready for uh, your hair to get messed up. So if you guys, uh, anybody out there who doesn't want to get any attention, uh, this car this car does attract quite a bit of attention, especially with the roof off. Yeah. And if it's stupid like us guys and you've got the roof down in like, <laughs> November, you're going to get extra attention. You must be cold in the back. Are you cold? Or? It's not actually that bad. Yeah. Uh, we have... We've got boom, warm, boom warmers on, so... Yeah, these oh. guys are lucky. They've got the heated seats to the front. I don't. the road now oh hello for today big shout out to Hamza for letting us borrow his car and uh, do a review on it if you guys want to follow Hamza as well you can follow him on snapchat instagram grinder only fans most match shadi.com he's on everything so i'll leave all the uh, the links below if you guys want to follow him as well it goes without saying guys please like share subscribe comment and uh, let us know if you want us to review any other cars uh, on the, in the comments below. So guys, if you haven't seen the last car review video, please click on the top uh, pop-up banner. The pop-up banner, isn't it? Pop-up yeah. banner, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So guys, see you in the next video. This is Bob the Bounce, signing out.